Here is my really quick, super fast first impressions review of Devil Boats by Compass Games. This is a narrative uh, war game about PT boats, Americans who ride PT boats in the Solomons during World War II, um, which is a really interesting theme to me, something that's different than the normal narrative game of, of bombers um, over Germany or such. Um, and this is really exciting. I, I've gotten a, a handful of these narrative games recently, um, thanks to Christmas and my birthday being close together, and my wife being great and buying me these types of games, and me just getting a couple too with uh, Christmas money and such. And uh, I have to say this this one stacks up, I think. Um, it's not as clean as Silent Victory uh, or the any of the submarine games in the Hunter series, but it, it, I think it's still a really um, good game. Um, a lot of people don't like it because there's a lot of dice rolling and, and sheet filling out going on. And that's true of most narrative games, but this one does have a, have a lot more rolling than usual, I think. People don't like that. But something that I think um, my approach to these types of games is that they are basically tabletop role-playing games in a World War II setting. Instead of having elves and fantasy, you have... Um, tanks and boats and planes and and crew members in it and, and that's what makes it fun is you turn the dice rolling and the sheet recording and all those things into a story and each die roll means something for the story and it's interesting and fun that way and i think that this is works out that way um all components are really beautiful and look good um i think that the glue on these are, is crappy and they don't stay together very well but besides that they're fine um, the rule book is, is probably the one bad thing about the game because it's got, um, really bad fonts over a bad picture here. And then, uh, the, that does look cluttered and the, the organization isn't great. But on the other hand, I feel like, especially for someone, anybody who's played narrative games before, this is a great game because you don't have to really read anything before you get started. You just look at the setup, follow the setup, um, go through the counters to, to get a, a quick fill for what the counters are and set them up. And then you just jump right in with the tables. And that's exactly what the designer online has suggested you do. As you just come here to, to A0 and you start rolling and the game teaches you what's happening as you go through. Um, and I've not run into any problems. People said they've gotten confused and run into problems. I've not had that case. That might just be because uh, as a game designer myself, I just infer what is supposed to happen um, and guess. I mean, there's, there's a lot of times in, in war games because there's so many rules and things that I just, if I spent forever looking for every specific rule, it's not, not, not fun anymore. So I just play through. And if I find out I did it wrong later, I come back, I just do it differently next time. But it's a great, I think the rule book is great in that regard where you can just start rolling. Um, it could have had a little bit more explanation in points. I think it could have looked nicer is my bigger, biggest thing is that, that the layout looks kind of yucky and the head, the, the headlines are kind of gross looking. But besides that, I think it's really good. I like the fact that these are uh, right in a race type of sheets. Um, it's very clear what you're supposed to do. Uh, it tells a great story, basically, about a part of the war that I really enjoy, uh, that is interesting to me. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, it may not be for everybody, but I think that if you just use your imagination and uh, decide to immerse yourself in it, you can have a great game here. That's Devil Boats.